Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today we've got a retro 4 in 1 so we're starting off with a game called Circus Charlie now Circus Charlie is an action multiplayer game that was released in March 1986 it's a circus themed collection of mini games which has to do with a lot of jumping as you can see pretty straightforward as long as you get the sequence right. So you've got different type of mini games, running through hoops, jumping over monkeys, jumping on balls and trampolines and all that kind of stuff. I wasn't doing too bad yet. Yeah? Until I got my face burned off. I think these games are very easy and simple to play, but it actually takes quite a lot of concentration and timing. Stage 2, some monkeys! Let's jump over some monkeys. So this game was pretty straightforward. You start off at a certain distance from the end point and you have to run and jump over obstacles. And sometimes they give an extra obstacle. I promise you, I did press the button. The controller is lagging. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. I did press the button. Promise. I did. Ten meters, almost there. Going for the home stretch. Look at the crowd. That was the crowd in those days. Flat. This is for me the most difficult stage. Balls. Fuck the balls. I'm not gonna continue with the balls. Just wanna show you this quickly. Check this lion's facial expression. <laughs> I would also have a face like that when my balls get burned, I think. Next up is Blaster Master. It's a shooter game, single player, released in June 1988. So what happens is you have fallen down a hidden panel into a world of creatures so terrifying that they scare the rats away. Yeah right, the frog gets hit by just already active waste and you're gonna go jump in a freaking manhole after it. And how convenient, there's a tank waiting there for you. And it seems like this lighty already knows how to wear the clothes and he already knows exactly what to do. Overall, I actually enjoyed playing this one. This was fun. So you've got a tank. You're driving around a tank that can actually jump. Shoot up in the sky. 
And it's actually driving quite fast. A bit too fast for me at the moment. So I haven't played this game ever before in my life. So for me it was a bit too fast. Okay. Clearly you cannot drive down there. It's a no-no. Every time you pick up a power, or P, you lift up your power again, and uh, H is for hovering. See, you don't drop as fast, you're kind of hovering now, only in the sky. That was just timing. There's, there's a lot of different routes that you can take. Okay, so I didn't realize at this point that you can actually climb out of the tank and walk around. I thought you are stuck in the tank. But I found out a bit later on that you can actually climb out of the tank. That's what the door is for. at least waterproof. Trying to get into the door, see if I can. Then I realized, got a select button. Try hitting select. Oh wow! There you can actually get out of the tank. But I think the tank was standing in front of the door, so I couldn't get in where I wanted to. So I decided to get back into the tank and continue the journey.
think this is a game I would actually like to play but more seriously later on. It's actually nice. This is a different look. I was actually um, I thought it was going to be a side scroller the whole time, so this is a bit of a difference. It's not so easy to eat these little ball eye things. Okay. Um, clearly, do not walk on the stones. That's a no no. Looking for extra power since they hide it in between the stones. That one wasn't there before. Ah, look at that Terminator face. Ah, no, it's the end. <laughs> Oh well. Next up we have Galaxian. It's a game that everyone knows very well. It's a shooter game multiplayer released in September 1984. It says the Galaxian fleet has invaded and it is your duty to stop them. Compared to Galaga, this is actually boring. Uh, Galaga was a bit more actionful for me, or it's faster anyway. This thing you cannot shoot a second shot until the bullet goes straight through the screen or until you hit something. If you're a fan of um, Space Invaders, then this is probably the game for you. Me, I am not a fan of flying games, especially something as slow as this. Um, this, is, this is really not my cut kind of game. And 
and I'm just plainly bad at all this type of flying games. I'm not a very good uh, gamer when it comes to this type of games. I don't see this entertaining anyone for very long. And I keep on missing. something much better. This is Galaga. It's a shooting game and it was released in February 1985 and it's also multiplayer. What made this game nice is that if you allow the enemy to capture your ship and you can get your ship back, you'll have two ships with double the firepower. Unfortunately, you're taking a gamble doing that since you are actually taking one of your reserve ships as a secondary ship. So the moment they shoot that ship down, you lose the game quicker. This is what made this game a bit more interesting in um, Galaxian, is that they actually come and attack you. They actually break formation, they fly around a bit more. It's not the standard formation that you always see with um, like the previous game. So now I'm allowing myself to get captured, so that I can actually rescue my ship. But you have to try and get captured actually in the first stage so that you can have a, a backup ship handy at always at all times. And here we go. Double the power. Unfortunately you have to now look out for both your planes. Because you can get an asshole that will come and fly into you. Or destroy your plane much quicker. Asshole. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this brought back some memories for you from the old days. So, if you like this type of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any further uploads. Thanks guys, see you next time. Cheers.